we're gonna open Black Legion. These are my new little stilettos from Black Legion. This is the same company that did that very tiny little spring-assisted knife that I just showed you. We'll see how these turn out. Ooh, I actually like that. All right. Well, that's pretty. They're pretty cool. Unopened. That was a little underwhelming, but I'm sure. Oh, it did snap out tight. Let's try this one. Your standard type of lock on a lot of on these spring assisted. It's just a little tension piece that comes over and blocks it. There's noticeably oil on these, which is, uh, in my opinion, a good sign. It means that they put a little bit of oil on it to make sure that it operates smoothly. So typically I don't go in on stiletto knives. Uh, I don't know why, I just, I've never bit, gotten into them. But uh, I thought these were perhaps a little too cheap to pass up. Uh, the pair of these was only about 13 bucks on a Bud K closeout. And uh, since I didn't have any stiletto of any kind, I kind of looked at this and thought, hey, I'll start my stiletto category in the collection with some very cheap offerings and uh, see see what I think of them. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bet it's probably a really good poker. Yep, that is pokes like butter. Definitely the benefit of stiletto knives is their ability to stab through things quite easily. Let's see about the cutting. Plenty good, I suppose. Let's see about this one. Yeah, not bad. It's actually pretty, well, it ripped there at the end, but... This one doesn't feel particularly sharp to me, but this one feels sharper. I don't know why. You know what, I think, I think some other people said that online too, that the small one seemed sharper, but had more trouble opening. You can see these, the spring assist here. <laughs> That opened better than it did the first time. So did that. I can already tell these are gonna loosen up with time and get better at opening. Oops. <laughs> that's, that's one thing I keep trying to do is uh, deploy from the wrong side. Cool. Well, those are not bad. They, they feel solid. They, they feel like there's enough metal in them for them to be solid construction. I think these outside scales are probably plastic, but there is obviously a, a steel scale on the inside. They're actually pretty cool. For 13 bucks from Bud K on the closeout, um, I would go, uh, from my initial reaction and just a little bit of cardboard cutting, I would say I would actually recommend this for the price. They're so cheap that I would say that I could potentially recommend those.